Hey everyone, I got asked a really interesting question about uh, an electric bicycle kit. I bought it about a year ago, and uh, I thought I'd do a little video about it. So the question I got asked was, uh, is the motor restricted to 750 watts, or is it the full 1000 watts? So uh, to start with, let's check out the motor that came with it. And uh, right here it is, and you can see they have it stamped with... Uh, 48 volts, 1000 watt rating. So basically that rating means you can run this motor all day at that amount of power at 1000 watts and it won't burn up. So uh, yeah, it is a 1000 watt motor. I haven't bench tested it, but uh, when it was together and running and everything, it definitely seems like it's, uh, it's a 1000 watt motor. But let's go over to the uh, motor controller and check that out. So this is the motor controller that came with it, and as you can see, it's uh, rated for 48 volts and 26 amps. So uh, 48 volts times 26 amps actually comes out to uh, 1250, 1250 watts. So at full power, this motor controller will provide 1250 watts to this motor. So technically, this is a 1250 watt setup. Uh, yeah, since, uh, since I'm doing this video, I might as well do a little bit of a review as well. Uh, I was only able to use this for about a month, and uh, unfortunately this motor controller burned up on me. It doesn't work anymore. But uh, other than that, I was uh, really happy with the kit. The, the motor has a lot of power, and uh, it's a hub motor, so it, it won't exactly pull you up hills. It'll help you a little bit, but... Uh, for the most part, this works really good on flats and uh, has really good top speed. I'm not sure what the top speed is, but uh, it's pretty fast. You know, it's definitely like 20 miles an hour and above. So, uh, yeah, there's a quick little review and, uh, you know, a little information on, on the motors and how they work and everything. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope that clears some things up for you. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.